Step 1. Find aliens. I'm afraid you'll have to do this part yourself. Step 2. Find a way to communicate with them, showing that we are an intelligent species. The problem is, how do we do it? What symbols or gestures can we use that would mean something? Any use of language and writing, or numbers and mathematical symbols, would simply not be understood. So, what is even more fundamental that we can try to demonstrate an understanding of to our alien friends? The answer? Geometry. The shapes around us, such as circles and squares, should still have the same physical and mathematical properties wherever we are, or indeed come from, in the universe. One of the simplest ways to demonstrate our appreciation of geometry is through the Pythagorean identity, named after the Greek mathematician Pythagoras, who lived around 2500 years ago. But remember we can't use any of the usual symbols, denoting addition, squaring, or even the humble equals, such as we might use to show the usual equation a squared plus b squared equals c squared, relating the lengths of the sides to one another. So instead we draw a right angled triangle and draw simple marks on each side. Hopefully our extraterrestrial visitors should recognise some form of number system, especially if they've managed to build a spacecraft capable of intergalactic travel to come and visit us. Now, I could have used dots or crosses as counting marks, but I decided to go with lines. Also note, I haven't used the conventional tally chart strike through on 5, as that won't necessarily be understood. Conveniently, the numbers 3, 4 and 5 work out perfectly to prove this, as 3 squared, or 9, plus 4 squared, 16, equals 25, which is 5 squared. It's a good way to show that we're not a completely primitive species, but whether or not that helps us when our alien overlords arrive remains to be seen. But next time someone complains that learning about Pythagoras and his triangles was a waste of time, tell them they'll be thankful when the aliens arrive. <laughs>